everyone. Welcome back to Instapot with Bunam. It's Sunday night. I'm usually a meal planner um, for the rest of the week. So the kids are eating dinner over there while I'm getting some meals ready for the week. And today I wanted to um, show you guys how I do some shredded chicken um, that's universal. You can use it for multiple dishes. So you can do tacos or sandwiches or on top of your salads. Um, so I usually get this ready so my husband can eat it during the week um, because I'm vegetarian. So I make this for him so that he can use it. Um, it's pretty simple, so let's run through the ingredients first so that you know what you need. These are chicken breasts um, that are not frozen necessarily. They're from the refrigeration, refrigerator section at the store. Um, I have a packet of taco seasoning, which looks like this. Um, chicken broth, a chopped onion, and some blended garlic. Um, and then I have some oil as well um, for later on, and we'll show you how to incorporate that um, in a little bit. As well as you'll need some tongs. Um, to move the chicken over. So in order to get started, it's really simple. You're gonna, um, your Instant Pot, make sure it's on. You're gonna use the little rack that comes with the Instant Pot and put it in. You're not gonna put the chicken press directly inside the pot. Um, so you're just gonna put that in. You're gonna pour your chicken broth at the bottom. And then you're gonna take your chicken breasts and just kind of put them on top of this, lay them in there and spread them in so that you, they can be on there. There you go. And then you're gonna take your taco seasoning and just spread it on top of the chicken breast so, and you can use all of it, so just fla so it flavors really well. There we go. And then close it. So you're gonna take your pot, your lid, make sure the vent is closed, close it up, and you're gonna go to manual mode Where's manual mode? There it is. And then you're gonna go down to 12 minutes. And then we'll come back and show you what that looks like. Alrighty, everybody, so the 12 minute timer went off. I've um, gone ahead and turned it off for you. And then we're gonna go ahead and release the steam. Remember, don't stand behind it when you're doing that. I should have released it before that so that you wouldn't have to watch it, but there's not much in there. So you're now gonna open it up. And you can smell the taco seasoning with the chicken. It smells really good. Um, put your lid in your slot, and then what you're gonna do is take the chicken breasts out onto a plate, a clean plate, so not the plate that you had already originally when we started. You're gonna take these out. And then you're gonna take the broth that's in the um, bottom of the pot and you're gonna actually use it. So you're gonna take the trivet out, make sure you have your glove. It's kinda hot, but I'm gonna throw it in my sink. Okay, so you're gonna take the cup you have or a bowl and you can take the broth that's in the bottom of this and it will be hot, so just be careful. Either use a towel or something if you can't tolerate heat on your hands. So you take that all out and you're gonna turn your Instant Pot on to saute mode, which is over here. Can't remember anymore where it is. And while it's warming up, what you're gonna do is shred the chicken. So you're gonna take your two forks and you're just gonna like pull it apart. All right, everybody, so we went ahead and shredded all the chicken up, so I left it in the plate while the saute mode was on. It was warming up. So your next little bit is pretty simple. You're gonna take some oil, you're gonna drop it in the bottom of your pan, and you can leave your pan this way if you want, um, or you can rinse it out, it's just totally up to you. Um, and then you're gonna take your onions, and your garlic, and just saute that for one or two minutes or so. I'm just gonna mix it up real good so that way it spreads out in the oil. All right, so the onions and garlic, oh, ooh, something popped up in my throat. The onions and garlic are sauteed. And so you're gonna add your chicken into this. Make sure I get most of it out. And then stir that up, but in order to add a little bit of moisture to this, that broth that we saved in the bowl or your measuring cup, you can now use some in here. I wouldn't use all of it, but just use some of it to moisten up the chicken. And you can kind of see how much you need as you go. And then just let it cook. 
for a few minutes and I think you'll be good to go. All right, so we're gonna take the last little bit out of the pot now. So you remember you sauteed it just for a few minutes, not too long. Um, and you can see that the chicken is actually very moist. And so this is it. So you can either um, store this in glass container in your fridge. Um, you can do tacos, salads, sandwiches, tostadas, it's up to you. Deepesh wanted a few tostadas tonight, so I'm actually um, gonna make him a few tostadas so that he can eat that. And then I'm gonna store the rest so that he can eat it for lunch or dinner another day this week. But you can see the color is really good. It actually smells really nice too. But you know, build some tostadas with some spinach, tomatoes, some cheese, um, however you would favor to eat it. But really good, quick way to get a low carb, high protein meal. Um, if you are following a low carb diet, this is a good meal to have in your rotation. Um, I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope you try it. Um, try the taco salad. You might even actually like it on that. Um, and we'd love to see your pictures of your shredded chicken. Thanks for watching our shredded chicken video. I hope you did enjoy that. Make sure you reference on the left hand side. There's a pinto beans or refried beans video as well as our Mexican casserole that you can use this in. Make sure you hit the red and white subscribe button. It's free. You can watch future and past videos and make sure you click on our link so you get all the recipes and the exact measurements. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you soon.